this assumes is that your unit is already installed on the boat and is powered up and then the first thing that you need to do to set up the final configurations are to wirelessly connect to it so here we go we've got my 4g extreme there it's got the 5 gigahertz and the 2.4 uh, gigahertz uh, wireless networks now on the 4g connect and 4g connect pro you just have the single 2.4 gigahertz and it will just be called 4g connect um, the password is for the 4g extreme is literally 4 capital g capital x t-r-e-a-m without the underscore 5g on the end um, and that will uh, once you've entered that wireless password that will allow you to connect and if you're on the 4G connect it's actually for capital G capital C connect um, so that's the, the full password and we'll actually take you through how to change the default wireless network name and the wireless password to, to make your system more secure and stop people that have watched this video from being able to know how to connect if you've just got the default password okay so uh, once you've wirelessly connected to the 4G Extreme or 4G Connect you just go into your browser of choice I'm going to use Chrome today and the first thing you'll see is that the, the browser will, will report that it can't reach the uh, whatever the home page is that you've set up and that's because we still need to set up these last few configurations on the on the 4G product so what we'll do is we'll go to the uh, now for all of the products, you can go straight to their IP address if you want to. That's going by HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. That tells the browser that you want to go to an IP address. And then 192.168.1.1. And that would, is the same for all of our, our products. Um, alternatively, if you can't remember the IP address, you can either just enter 4G Connect if you're using 4G Connect, or in our case, a 4G Ooh, let's type that correctly 4G Extreme and that will take you straight to the uh, login page once you're there the username is always admin and then it's either 4G Connect or 4G Extreme depending upon which model you've got for capital G capital X T R E A M you can check that you've got the right in there and then you can log in so once you're logged in, you come to the, the main sort of status page, if you like the dashboard. And this tells you all you need to know about the, the status of the unit. Uh, the one that I'm going to concentrate on here is the modem panel here. Um, it's giving us a signal strength of, I mean, that's the first thing you want to check is that you're getting good signal. So minus 87 is not a great signal, uh, it'll be fair. But then I am filming this video in, on a steel narrow boat and I'm just using the internal antennas inside the boat so uh, I wouldn't expect it to be that great but if you're using the two pro antennas then you'll be getting a, a really really strong signal and it'll be something like you know minus 40 minus 50 um, because the negative numbers minus 40 minus 50 is better much better than minus 87 but it's good enough for us and what we want to do today so Looking here, it's, it's, it's recognised as a Vodafone SIM card that's fitted. It's in SIM card slot one. Um, the 4G Extreme has two SIM card slots. The 4G Connect just has the one. Um, and uh, it says it's actually connected, but uh, as soon as I try and go to a, a uh, website, you'll see that it's lying. So when I mean, what it means when it says connected like that means it's 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 registered on the Vodafone network, but it hasn't been able to pass the correct APN settings, so it's not got a proper connection yet. So what we're going to do is the APN settings, by the way, are called access point name, and it's the sort of settings that the device gives to the mobile operator to say what uh, SIM card it's got fitted. And as long as the APN settings match the SIM card, then it should be able to register on the network. So what we're going to do is go to network and then WAN. And on here, you've got the wired WAN connection, uh, which we're not using. Uh, and then you've got the two SIMs, SIM1 and SIM2. Now, as I said, I've got the SIM card in SIM1, so I'm going to go and edit that uh, adapter. And then we've got auto APN, which is the default setting. So auto APN, for a lot of networks, it works perfectly well, um, but I'm the reason I'm using a Vodafone SIM today because I know that Vodafone doesn't work in the UK and I have to go in and set up a, a, the APN. And also in, in the US, um, funnily enough, the all three of the big networks, AT&T, T-Mobile 
and Verizon, they all need you to go in and set up uh, this APN uh, manually. So you just go in and you go to set that to off. It says here APN custom and for Vodafone, uh, it's different for each different uh, network and there's a very good website called apnsettings.org which uh, I use a lot to and it, you can put in the name of the network operator you're using and it will tell you the APN settings but I know that the Vodafone settings for the Vodafone pay monthly in the UK are internet so and then I also know that I need to set this to PAP um, and then I need to enter a username of web and a password of web. I can just check that that's typed in correctly. Then with all of those things set, um, and like I say, these will be different for the network and the SIM provider that you're, you're using. So uh, do check those settings first before you apply them. And then you click save and apply. And after a short while that should apply those and it says they've been applied which is great and if I sit and wait here on this screen it will eventually populate these this box here and tell me that I've got an IP address but I'm just going to go straight to the status overview page again and uh, now it's going to give me the uh, signal strength still we've got the Vodafone uh, it's just gone to connected there and I think you'll find that now when we go to the BBC tab and I refresh that we now have an internet connection which is great so just setting those APN settings there's a difference between not being connected and then being connected so so very important to get those APN settings correct if the auto APN settings the default settings don't work and um, which for a lot of networks they will be quite work quite happily so that's the getting you connected so now what we want to do is lock down the wireless network to make sure that nobody else other than the people that you give the details to can connect to your system because we don't want them using up your your broadband so we go to network and we go to wireless now on the 4g extreme you've got the two wireless networks the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz on the 4g connect you just have the one the 2.4 gigahertz so i'm just going to change the 2.4 gigahertz but i'd also have to go in then afterwards and change the 5 gigahertz as well um, just to make sure that that's locked down as well because no point locking down one and then not locking down the other so you go into the edit and then you choose your network name that you want visible network name so I mean you know a lot of people just put their boat name if you're going to use spaces in there make sure you don't use a space use an underscore like that and try not to use any special characters like apostrophes or hashes or, or dollar signs um, all of those sort of things can make your uh, network less compatible um, with some devices so I'm going to call that boat name on my one I'm going to then set the password which at the moment is 4G extreme I'm just going to set that to my password not very secure and I wouldn't recommend using this um, but just for the purposes of my video I'm going to do that and then I'm going to save and apply. So what that's doing now is it's making the 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless settings. Uh, it's going to appear as boat name um, and it's going to have a password of my password. So I can go up to the scan for wireless networks. Now at the moment it, on a Mac you just see the preferred network so I just have to click other networks. On other devices you'll probably see it straight away. But there you go. There's my network that I've set up so the boat name there and if I wanted to connect to that I'd be asked to put into the password which was my underscore capital P A double S W O R D and I'm just gonna there you go and then I'm gonna join and we are connected so there you go so that's your uh, system nicely locked down and then you can give those details to the friends and family only the people that you want to connect so hopefully I mean that really I mean all the rest of the settings and all the rest of the functionality that's in 4G Connect and 4G Extreme um, although it's very interesting and you know you're welcome to, to have a look at that um, 
I'm not going to cover that today because it's it's uh, lots and lots of information there. But those are the key things that you will need to get your uh, 4G Connect or 4G Extreme working. The APN settings to get you connected and then lock down the, the wireless access so that only the people you want to connect to can connect there. So hopefully you found that video interesting. Um, you know, I'll, we've always available to answer any questions. Uh, just uh, email us at support at digitalyacht.co.uk. Thanks very much for listening.